The reason we were able to achieve this level of precision is because we used a machine called a wire EDM. Now EDM stands for electrical discharge machining. That means the machine is gonna take electricity and it's gonna run it through a very small diameter wire and it's gonna use that electricity to precisely burn through conductive materials. For this project, we're gonna use 10 thousandths diameter AC cut D500 wire. Now this is brass wire, but it's got a little bit higher copper content than your standard hard brass wire. It's also a little bit softer, which is gonna allow us to cut tapers much easier. As you can see, our AC cut D has a much different appearance than our standard brass wire. That's because of the higher copper content in both the wire and the coating of the wire. Now in order to achieve our seamless fit, we need to hold one 10 thousandth of an inch precision. To put that into context, that's 40 times smaller than the diameter of a human hair. To make things even harder, we're gonna do it on a 20 degree angle. The reason we're able to cut tapers on our wire EDM is because our upper head and our lower head actually move independently from one another. In a previous video, I did a seamless fit with just a 2D contour and a straight wire. In this case, we're doing a 20 degree taper, and in future videos, we're actually gonna be doing varying tapers, so make sure you stay tuned for that. All right, now let me show you how to program a taper. So there's one very important aspect to programming a taper on a wire EDM, but before we get into that, I wanna shout out Daniel Reese. Thank you for being a YouTube member on our channel and helping us to create incredible content for the machining industry. We appreciate you. All right, let's get into it. So the most important part of programming a taper on a wire EDM is you need to tell the EDM where to hold size. So it needs to know where the start of your taper is and also where the end of your taper is. Now this is important because you can also cut features like this, where your taper doesn't go all the way to the bottom of your part. So in this case, our taper does go all the way to the bottom of our part. So if we go into our program and we look at our program plane right here, we've got an XY program plane of zero because our part's gonna be clamped to our table, which is our zero point. We also have a UV program plane of one inch 875 because that is the thickness of our part. Now this UV program plane is actually gonna be an incremental distance from the bottom of your angle to the top of your angle. And once you have that figured out, really it's all about just selecting the faces that you wanna cut on your wire EDM. And then once you have that done, all you need to do is create a feature. In this case, we created a ruled feature, and then we came in here to four axis contouring. And once we did that, all we have to do is fill out all of our values. We have our optional stop so that we can be there when the slug drops. We've got our rough and skim passes, as well as our entry and exit values. And once you have all that, it's really that simple. Now, if we go into our simulation, you'll actually see that our wire actually starts vertical and then it's gonna tilt at our 20 degree angle and then it's gonna cut right through all the features that we want on our program. It's gonna stop 50,000 shy so that we can be there when the slug drops. And then once it's done with that, it's just gonna run unattended all the skim passes. And by the end of it, we're gonna have a tapered feature that's accurate to within one ten thousandth of an inch. It's really that easy. In this case, we're cutting a taper on a part that's under two inches thick. But let's say we had a part that was 15 inches thick. Our UV is gonna have to move much further to accomplish the same angle. Well, luckily for us, on this machine, the XY and UV travel are the same. This gives us the ability to cut 30 degree tapers in parts that are 15 inches tall. Our Cut P550 Pro is the only machine on the market in this size that can do that. All right, so to recap, we took two pieces of steel, we cut a male dovetail feature in one side at a 20 degree angle and a female dovetail feature in the other side at a 20 degree angle. We slid them together with one ten thousandth of an inch precision and you couldn't even see the seam when it was all said and done. All right guys, drop a comment down below what you want us to make next on the Wire EDM. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to check out our Discord. And if you're looking for tooling, go to titansofcnctooling.com. Also, while you're doing that, check out CNC Experts, the platform that we made for machinists by machinists. We'll catch you guys next time.